you guys a little bit about what I did to prep my hair for this hairstyle just because my hair was really really dry and my ends were shedding a lot so I decided to do a mayonnaise hair mask I've seen a lot about it and I just decided to try it out I usually just do um, eggs uh, honey and conditioner but today I just wanted to do mayonnaise just because it's quicker and it's less maintenance so um, I just got this craft mayo with olive oil it looks like this um, I got it from Walmart and what I did was it's really simple I just set I first I washed my hair I detangled it I washed it with this hydrating tea tree um, mint shampoo from organics and I'm gonna put all the um, products in the description box as well and then once I washed my hair with that I um, conditioned it with this Aussie Moist Conditioner to detangle it, as well as this Herbal Essence Honey I'm Strong. So, once I washed it and detangled it, I came out of the shower and then I sectioned my hair off and then I just put the um, mayo in my hair as if I was putting conditioner in my hair. So you just section your hair off and you know, just run your fingers through with it you can use a comb however you like to whatever you like to, whatever you want to use to make sure it's evenly distributed and you want to just make sure you concentrate on your roots and on your ends and then make sure your whole head is covered with it and then you put it in a, I have like this heating cap I got from um, the regular beauty supply store it's like two dollars or two dollars around two dollars and I just Set and I sat, I sat with that for like two hours. Um, I don't really recommend to stay with it that long. It does not do damage, but you should probably want to keep it in for like 35 minutes at the most. Um, I just got distracted, so I might happen to be in a little longer. Uh, I didn't do anything. It didn't harm my hair. I just had to leave the conditioner in for a little bit longer after I washed the uh, mayo out. And after I washed the mayo out. I put the both of those conditioners in my hair again and I detangled it again just because when you put protein in your hair your hair it's a little bit hard just because of the protein and I just wanted to add moisture back into my hair so I sat with the conditioner once I detangled it and then once I washed it out so and, and as well as the um, conditioner this is what I'm left with it's really 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 soft like it's really soft so on to the hair tutorial. I'm going to use some coconut oil. I've never used this brand before, but it was what I could find. And it's organic, of course, and it smells really good. It doesn't smell like the other ones that I've been using, but it's really good. So I'm just going to put that all in my hair. So now what you're going to want to do is use a rat tail comb and part your hair because we're going to part our hair so that way we can put the bun at the top of our head and then the back we're just going to twist. So I'm looking down in my mirror. in my hair so I just took more out for the bun and I just went straight across with my part it's not perfect in the back properly but this is what I got so yeah just make sure that when you do it you have equal on both sides because you don't want your bun to look lopsided or you don't want it to look one side fuller than the other when you take your twist out so yeah Okay, so 
open this again. Just to get it out of my way. And please don't worry, it's not going to be this thin of a body. So if you want, you can take your edge control and go over it again. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. So we have that out of the way. Now we have to do the rest of the hair. My bun looks so little compared to the rest of the hair. Okay, so you put the conditioner in your hair. I like to do this when my hair is relatively wet, but because I had to do my bun, my hair kind of dried out. But it's okay. Okay, so now that I have a piece sectioned off and the oil in it, I'm going to use my famous Eco Styler Gel that I always use. Get some of that on my hand. Put it right at the top where my roots are. Make it really smooth. And you could bring it down to the rest of the hair. And this just eliminates frizz. And I really like it a lot because it does not give me any flakes. separate that section into two. Make sure that when you separate the section into two, you have an equal amount of hair on both. Because if not, then it'll get uneven as you twist and you're going to have to take care from the other one, the other piece. That's where you kind of get back in. You're going to probably have to do it regardless, but So you just twist down and you make sure everything's smooth and detangled as you go down. like at all besides minor tangles but when I took my time on them it was like a-okay and I think it's because of the mayonnaise mess that I did before I did my hair like I don't know it's pretty good like I really didn't have issues with it so like I said guys I really encourage you guys to do it you might smell like a sandwich for a while but it's all worth it because your hair is gonna be really really soft just now I'm going to show you guys how I sleep with it, like this. I get my wonderful silk scarf. It is a crime to go to sleep without a silk scarf, ladies and gents. So please invest in one. 
So I've had this one for like two or three years now. So you just take it and you're gonna just put it like so and make sure it's even just so that way tying it can be easier. And you're just gonna take it to the back of your head. Make sure you move all your twists out the way. Bring it to the front. And then you're just gonna make a nice little knot there. And then you're gonna tie it. Sniff it up, move my ears from out of it. Make sure all my twists are out. And then that is it, guys. interesting and helpful if you have any questions please write them in the comments below don't forget to subscribe and like the video see you guys